Well, welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we defeated the Hackerbat and returned peace to the village of the Arca here. And we got rid of all the monsters. Although, there are still monsters in the mountain, but they'll well, probably stay there. I don't think they're going to bother you guys anymore. So, we're good to go. Well, not quite. Most everybody's back to normal. Habits, or old, well, I shouldn't say old habits die hard because I mean they weren't animals for that long, were they? A couple days, <laughs> and she's still acting like an animal. I can understand if you were for like years, for a couple days. I mean, can you really establish a habit after only a couple days? It doesn't have to be like two weeks. Uh, sure. You aren't a pig. No, that wasn't funny. Ugh, what a fool. Whatever. <laughs> Shit's real, man. Happened. We don't keep any animali. Yeah, this fella, he just sells the same stuff. Yes, I already know about the monsters. We got rid of them. Or we got rid of the boss monster anyway. Can't do anything about his spawn. Yep, we did. Mama Mia, it's all too much. I'm going to faint.
Yeah, so there was another higher power that was behind unsealing that guy from his uh, tombstone. That freaking a leotard. <laughs> was that a leotard? I don't know. I couldn't even tell what the hell he was wearing. might heal fast. No. They certainly grow fast. Alright, so Gabo's gonna live with the woodcutter. gotta be um, tiring walking around on all fours like that when you're a human. Leave without us. I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, at first opportunity, well, I'll say that in a little bit. It's not official yet. Yeah, Gabo in the PlayStation version walked around on two feet just like everybody else. I guess they couldn't figure out how to... An I, I guess maybe if they thought about Gabo uh, walking around on all fours back then, uh, they couldn't implement it with the sprites, maybe? And they probably just thought it'd be easier to just have him walk around like everybody else. That's my theory anyways, I don't really know what that was about. Rough Go Vet.
Ta-da! It's gotta be a hell of a lot easier riding around on the wolf than uh, running around on all fours, that's for sure. And yes, Maribel, she, of course she needs more protection. Alright, Gabo has joined the party. Yeah, unfortunately, he's also called Rough in the uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 2 game. <laughs> Which is annoying. You can't change it in that game either, but yeah, come first opportunity, I will be changing his name back to Gabo. But yeah, this kid is a wolf boy. Let's get him some gear. Uh, yeah, let's give him this bone steak, although this is going to be, like, replaced almost immediately. Yeah, I'm getting, like, major lag in the menus here. Which is not good. Alright, yeah, this kitty shield that I bought earlier, it's going to Gabo. Oh, that's bad. Boxer shorts, yeah, that'll go to Gabo. And I just need... Like a helmet. Leather hat, that'll work. Alright, good to go. Yeah, we gotta find whoever set the monster free, man. We haven't figured out who that is yet. So yeah, Gabo, he essentially fights with his wolf, I guess. Uh, yeah, and I, I'm thinking in the original Dragon Quest VII, they just they couldn't probably couldn't figure out how to do it with the sprites. All right, so let's go back to Estar. It's probably the closest one to the ship. Hopefully it's still standing. Yeah, we weren't able to help Regent's time, but we did help Learka. Luckily, we don't have to go too far to find it. Actually, before we go to the town, let's head on over to the mountain. If we do a little recon. If we go across the bridge there, there's nothing out there, so don't worry about going that way. Well, yeah, we'll go there eventually. Seat of strength. Yeah. Saving that for later. Yeah, it doesn't look any different. 
But yeah, this dungeon is pretty much identical as it was in the um, in the past. The only difference is the treasures are different. The layout's exactly the same. And over here we can get a stone fang. We can give the gabo. Yeah, I'll have this for a fairly short amount of time. Ah. Yeah, we want to get rid of the freight crawler. That takes priority. And Gabble got to level two. And he learned the Au ability. What are you, God from Final Fantasy VI or something with this shit? It kind of reminds me of God from Final Fantasy VI. But anyways, uh, yeah, the Au ability, it's basically, you can use it on a group of monsters to try to freeze them with fear. It's basically a lose a turn skill. It's not too bad, actually. I, I use it quite a bit. Speaking of which... I'll try it out right now. Yeah, it's under the other category. But yeah, Gabo has the highest agility in the game out of any of the characters. Maribel is second highest. Yeah, there's still lots of monsters in here. I hate these guys. Quillers? Yeah. This is a bang battle. Without a doubt. chest we get mini metal number four you should have four mini metals up to this point in the game uh oh yeah gotta get rid of these freight crawlers hmm didn't work huh What the hell, Keeper? Yeah, when uh, that ability doesn't work, it's it's pretty bad. I don't know. It seems to work a lot. I don't know. It's not working all that much right now. Yeah, luckily those fucking fright crawlers don't chase you. Just kind of look at you.
Oh uh, yeah, up the stairs is a dead end. Just like before. Be able to learn the chop ability, that's pretty useless, I've found. Like, it doesn't work very often. Uh, there's better skills to use. Chomp is pretty crap. I wouldn't even bother with it. nice preemptive strikes. Good time. Nah, I better save that for a better one. What the f Jesus fucking what an what an inept piece of shit round. Missing all over the place. She can't hit the guy in the back? Or are they just not in the same group? Kill these things. It's taking so long here. Fuck. Now I'm gonna try and keep Gabo's HP top up if I can, because he's lower level. I don't want him dying and losing experience. Get out of my way, you stupid. Critical hit, I like it. Awesome. Shit, man. Just stay away from me. I'm trying to get some shit here, man. Too stunned. 
Yeah, let's get rid of the money hand. He's got to go. Chest, we get a pair of bunny ears. It says female exclusive gear. Very, very good defense for Maribel. And she'll probably have these bunny ears for a very long time. She's still going to be squishy, though. guy up. Apparently he's been sleeping here all these years. Maybe we'll get to fight him again. But no, no, don't worry about it. No boss fight this time. Yora the Hackerbit? You don't look nothing like him, man. Yes, this guy became one of us. He's a complete wimp now. Or at least he's a nice guy. Uh-oh. Yeah, we don't need any more of your meddling. Stop these shenanigans at once. Still a human. Huh. Well, how about that, huh? Gabo is talking. Yeah, the spell made him more human. <laughs> yeah, we're happy. Just don't do any more magic. Please. Now the kid don't want to shut up.
All right, this guy turned out to be pretty awesome in the end, huh? Man, so Gabo could speak, and we get a blue fragment. about a turnaround. Yeah, and Gabo, he's going to be talking a lot from now on. Now, interestingly enough, if you try to use evac on these two floors, it doesn't work. So... Yeah, just come out here to the mountain area, and then you can use the spell. If you have enough MP, of course. <laughs> Licking your ears? When the hell did he do that? I didn't see him do that. Tell Mr. Woodcutter. Yeah, let's go talk to Mr. Woodcutter. That's a good idea. But not yet. Uh, we got some other stuff to do in this area first. Yeah, I've given up trying to put Kiefer in the second spot. I'm just going to keep Maribel there now. The game keeps... <laughs> the game keeps putting her second for some reason. And what is this? House near Layarka, or dock near Layarka, I should say. This whole dock is a property of just one man. Oh, it makes my blood boil to see such inequality. We just wouldn't allow it, pal. What? So you guys give up, give your uh, wealth to the poor, then? Maribel's actually going there. She's talking about equality. Collector, huh? Yeah, so we can't get to his uh, his mansion over there. Um, we're gonna need a certain item later on in the game to uh, make the trip. And the clue is, it will not be a boat. I wish I could throw around gold coins like they were confetti too. And you know what? If I earn enough casino coins, that might be the case. I don't see. I don't know if I'm going to do that this time around. My original PlayStation uh, playthrough of this game, I showed off a money-making trick uh, at the casino, the first casino you get to. Um, but by nature of the way the slots work in this version of the game, I don't think I'm going to do that this time around. I think I'm just going to get what I need from uh, the token vending area and then just move on from there. Now look at that, man. We got animals marching in unison in a, in a, in a square. That's pretty incredible. Well, this is some, uh, yeah, these aren't actually animals, but damn, man, those costumes are pretty fucking convincing, wouldn't you say? They look just like the real thing. Of 
Cuthbert, a hero for our times, volume two. Yeah, to be continued. So we'll be looking out for the uh, future volumes of Cuthbert the Great. Or Cuthbert the Hero, or whatever the hell he's called. Item merchant. At least not yet. Yeah. Looks so nice. And chest, an empty chest. Boo! Boo, I say. I can oppose. Yeah, the weapon guy doesn't sell anything different. It's all the same stuff. What the hell? There's a cow in the bed? But yeah, there's a green fragment over here. So you want to grab this. Well, I guess the, uh... Weapon and armor guy hasn't sung anything yet. Not yet. I hate when they ask me questions like that. I've accidentally quit my game before. I wish saving in Dragon Quest was a little bit more streamlined. <laughs> it's, it's one of the things about these games that I hate. I wish you could just save anywhere. Or at the very least, the world map. We have the visitory. Yeah, so he likes bunny girl costumes. So do I. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, see the defense. Hmm. 
Mamma mia, this town is people purely with animali, no? Yeah. Alright, so if you open the drawer, we can actually uh, get the animal costumes. Hey, alright, now we're pigs. Oh, so the people actually speak to us now instead of acting like animals. That makes sense. I guess that must be a real chicken. Money? And... Kitties. Oh, not really kitties. Wow. Again. Pretty convincing costumes. <laughs> A little bit too small. That's a real dog. So yeah, we gotta guess which... Yeah, we gotta talk to this guy here. Six people, and you need to choose the three that are women. So, basically, to find out how to solve this, you just gotta, it's just trial and error. And you get as many tries as you want, so don't worry about that. Uh, let's go with one of the cows. Oh, no, that's a dude. Yeah, the thing that sucks is they kind of move around the animals. Uh, let's go with the dog here. There we go. Let's see if I can get the last one right. Let's go with the the cat. Oh, no, screw it up.
thinking it's gonna be the pig. If it's not the pig, it's definitely the horse. Oh man. Well, at least I know I'll get it next time. Yeah, we did it. ones? Really? Wow. I don't believe you, but wow. And we get the big book of beasts, which is a book that you can use to view monsters that you've killed. Basically, it's the best theory item. So that's nice. Yeah, we already talked to him. He's cool. He won't bother you guys. Alright, yeah, and there's not much else to do in this town, really. I guess you could talk to people. I don't think they have any items, though. But, uh, I'm gonna end the video right here. In the next episode, we'll finish up what we need to finish up here, which I think probably isn't really anything and then we'll head over to the woodcutters place and uh, what's we gonna do well actually we're done we'll just be going to our next destination whatever that may be so uh see you next time bye bye